And uh, all right, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. <laughs> nice to see you. Good morning. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay, well, mm. this looks like deja vu. I mean, it took a coalition of uh, political uh, ideologies, political groupings, and parties to uh, remove the last administration of uh, Good Luck Jonathan. Mm -hmm. uh, are we about to see the same thing in 2019, or is it not just strong enough to upset the APC administration? Well, thank you very much. I mean, I heard what the former president said, and everything he said there is guilty of everything he said there. Injustice, inequality, killings, and everything. I mean, the president of Nigeria is an elected president. Mm. This man is talking from his, from his military background, right? What coalition are you forming against a democratic elected government of Nigeria, which you have been a military and a civilian president as well? The message he's trying to send out is clear. They want a new person to represent, to take over from President Buhari at the midway of his own constitutional time as president, right? But how the, do you what's mean by wrong midway? with that? I he's, mean, he's how, yeah. well, how, how he, do you call it midway? He has, he's eight eight years, he has eight years as permitted by the Constitution. Well, and really? seeking subject, election. Subject to, to the Nigeria. will of the people. Of course, without it, I'm exactly. just telling you that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you that okay. clearly. Yeah. It's midway because he's going to complete his eight years as Nigerian president, God willing. And by the people of Nigeria saying so the next few if months. the people of nigeria say so definitely oh. you understand? but not from someone who refused to leave the stage after a lot has been done in his own time in office as a president as an head of state so many illegalities something going around now trending in the air now a former governor close to him ojikalu of abia let him come out and defend what he has said. He's alive today. Oji is alive today. What Oji said in that video, if I were president of Basanjo, I will come out and defend it if he can. This is a man who wanted to be life president of Nigeria. And he was stopped. And he would deny and deny and deny. Does that take away from what his stance is right now he that take Nigeria, away everything from me that nigeria needs a desirable change i mean he just yes, qualified he, it he just said in what desirable. manner excuse yeah. me let's be sincere mm -hmm. what are the changes are they talking about what 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 changes do we want we have a president now one thing that was clear was that the government the last government was very corrupt very wasteful right we have a government now looking inwards, making agriculture one of the yardstick, the bone, the backbone of his administration. Yeah, but there are those who would say too that the last administration uh, did very well in terms of um, in terms what, of looting, they, they, will they will list a number of things, the yes, economy. They, but but uh, even in the, agriculture. The, yeah, agriculture. The, 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 the president of Africa Development Bank who was uh, uh, the Minister of, the Agri Minister of Agriculture, agriculture that yeah. time, he received all of the accolades because of uh, his doing well in oh, agriculture in the last dispensation. Excuse me, mm -hmm. do you understand me? Mm. You, are talk you are talking of a sexual. That was somebody who knew his onions very well, mm. right? And recognized by the African community, even by this government as well. And this government has built on that. And beyond that, they, they've taken agriculture to be one of the major things that we could even be in any foreign exchange with. A, a lot of us now eat local rice. I, I eat rice. Our farmers, our potatoes, our tomatoes are everywhere. So and if you are talking about changes. Yeah, but when it comes to all of those, it yes. was still the same, the last government who also gave us cassava, cassava bread, Bre yes. you know, and so on. And, and they were exporting the, cashew and, and so on too. The bottom line and is that... And removed the mm. corruption in fertilizer acquisition by farmers. I mean, I mean, you see, the point is that mm. it's very clear. Yeah. Okay. What are the desirable changes they're talking about? Mm. Let them say it. As far as President Olusha Gombasanjo is concerned, uh, the, the coalition that he had, CNM, yes. mm, was not to become a political party. Yeah. But the whole idea is that Nigeria is now more divided than it was you know, uh, now that Buhari is president of Nigeria, that the, the country is more divided along political, ethnic lines and all of that, 
the insecurity is Let's, all over the place. Wait, wait, do you believe and that? It seems that the, this government the, is clueless in terms of the, solving the security this problem. This is a man that is just playing to Diga Larry. He's just How? he's been sentimental about issues. Very, very, very sentimental about issues. Divided on what line? Let us be clear about it. On what line are we divided? This is a president that came in into power with less than 200 votes from the southeast, and there are five ministers. What are we talking about? Let's be sincere about things. What, what does he want? He wants to be a major player for the rest of his life in Nigeria. It's not going to happen. Let his coalition produce someone 55 downwards uh, as their candidate. Let them come together. They will know he's talking. The APC's candidate is not 55 yeah, downwards. Yeah, he's, he's in power already. Mm -hmm. We knew his focus. We knew his focus. He became a stellar content that to get to be president. You understand me? Let him produce somebody. Let them come out with Juro Toye or Sharoe. Let, let us know they are serious about what they are talking about. The PDP, the 35 others. What, are, what is their political relevance? What, I mean, we are talking about elective democracy mm -hmm. here. How many of them have a member in the House of Assembly? I, I, even the councils. Mm -hmm. Let's not stop with wiping, just giving up sentiment All on right. the pages of newspapers mm -hmm. and trying so hard to have a go at what will not happen. All right. Now, the, the former president talked about the issue of coalition. Yes. Since, since, since all the while they've yes. been talking, he, he's, he has mentioned it, that yeah. a lot, it, so much number of the, out of the 68 political parties yes. have come to together. contact them yes. one way or the other to see how yes. they can work together. Yes. And besides the, C, the CNM, there's also the NIM. Mm -hmm. Headed by uh, Ulisa yes. Bako, uh, yes, who is the yes, co-chairman, yes. and uh, Tafa Balewa, and yes. all of that. Now, isn't the APC concerned that one way or the other, there is a strong current movement underground somewhere see, see, going into the 2019 see, the, election? I'm, I'm on the platform of NIM. Okay. NIM is not a political organization. Yes, exactly not. Certainly not. And Ulisa Bako, we know, right, is a human rights person. Mm -hmm. He's not a politician. Mm. He's a brilliant lawyer. Jalit Balewa came out four years ago trying to be a, a PDP uh, a presidential candidate. Um, yeah. I mean, pressure groups will always do well in trying to make the government not lose focus. I mean, the, pro the, the issue of governance is a, is a very big business, right? The bottom line is that you want to get involved. Some of us, we are pro Ghani. We knew Ghani would not win a uh, president at, uh, on an SCP platform. To, at, the second, at the Second Republic... Ghani fire me, of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. second, second Republic, Felad MOP. We knew we would shout yes. movement of the people for Felad Nikulaku then. We knew you could not win. Are you saying we, we are only just paying lip service to the idea you of see? an ideal Nigeria where people who really are deserving of becoming yeah. president or senator or whatever... Yeah. Um, are not given the chance. No, no. I will uh, not that, say. Is that what you're saying? I will not say lip service. Okay. I will not say that. Right. We are concerned Nigerians mm -hmm. looking at issues, but we should be more objective in about terms it. Of in terms of what we are trying to achieve and who is the messenger. Do you understand me? The, pre the former president has the cloud, former president, we will listen to him, but he cannot play. He cannot try to put sentiment to divide us. What he's saying is even more divisive. He, mm. What he's trying to create a division, coalition that brought in Buhari. Buhari, Buhari has been a factor in Nigerian politics since 1999. Let's get it right. He didn't just. Well, you can say the same about an Obasanjo. Obasanjo <laughs> was. <laughs> Obasanjo, he was, but the, the time is over. He's no more there. He should realize that. Okay. Policies are focused. You don't expect your policy to be my policy. Right? My thinking is not your thinking. We have a different, right. like, the people that serve in the your cabinet are not in Buhari's cabinet. Mm. Now, but the, let, let's draw the attention to away from the personalities and go into the issues. Now. Yes. There are some issues that the former president raised. Yeah. Whether it comes from him or, or not, not yeah. 
Is the APC concerned about some of these, especially the area of security where we have killings and killings and in fact this morning there was the issue of mm -hmm. bomb blast in Inugu state mm -hmm. and all of that. Is the APC sitting down to look at the government in power, sitting down to look at some of these critical areas that are being raised by mm -hmm. all this movement? Why wouldn't they? Why would any government take the issues of security for granted of its people? It's not possible. But the point is that you don't make it an issue that should become what you want to use as a campaign material. But this yeah. government used it as a campaign material, saying the, the, the security, issue of corruption, security, and economy the, mm -hmm. are the, the three economy, main excuse on which me, this excuse me. The issue stand, yeah. of corruption, right, was clear on our agenda for the last election, which was driven home. It was driven home and driven home well. Right? No, I mean, that is why I keep saying that I will prefer cabinet system of government where opposition will have enough access to what is happening in government. So you know, uh, you know what to say. When we had the IRA in, in the UK, the Labour Party were in opposition. They were not using that against the government on a regular on an issue. It's a security for all. The government agency were not people killing these people. We are IRA, we had to bring them to the table in the UK to dialogue for another ally to have peace. So why you keep using the issue that affect all of us, right, as a means of looking or seeking the mandate of the Nigerian people, you are not being fair to us. No matter, no matter how you look at it, the system of government we practice restrict information to the opposition. That is the truth. You don't really know what open. is going on there. It's not open. Okay. But in a capital system of government, mm. where the minister will stand for quite some time every week and address issues. Mm. At least we've had it before in the First Republic. That is it. Mm. That is but is it a function of the system that is being operated or the character of the government in, in the The place? function of the system itself mm. does not give us enough access to information. Mm. Does not give the opposition enough access to information. The shadow cabinet are paid for by the state. They have access to government documents, so they can look at the, and check the government in power from what they are doing. It is there that they are recognized shadow cabinet in the system. Mm. But here we are, right? You go by what the government of the day tells you. Coming into power. No, but how many people knew security funds were being siphoned to run an election for the PDP then? How many people knew the, the millions of dollars that were taken out of the CBN at that time? Even when people like the former gov CBN governor, two of them, you see Soludo and uh, M the new MN now saying that, you understand me, this thing is bad. Yeah, but there All have right. been similar issues ha under this administration. Yeah, exactly. Too. But how I mean, would you measure? Like, but what? Actually, let, let, let me ask you. Let, let, let me ask you. Million dollars. Let me ask you. Of the what? Of the from the uh, excess crude account. Yeah, to do what? To do what? Well, to allegedly what? for to to purchase. Not uh, allegedly. Uh, not allegedly. That was fine. Without, that was due without due it was without the due process. It was without the due process being followed. The, the point is that I'm, I'm very glad that. That thing, if you played your video, yes. you remember when the Senate president was talking, mm. and he has referred this thing to, to the committee of the House yeah. to look at it. Mm. You understand me? The president right, has taken an action that we are in process. The, the Senate president was even part of that process. He said it clearly. Mm. So you cannot compare that to moving money from CBN to give to people. Can the APC take this coalition for granted? Can the APC afford? We are to not take taking this? it for granted. Can, can but, it afford? But I'm going to tell you that okay. it, it, it will be a, a stroll in the park. Okay. Hmm. All right. Uh, let me let's let's let, we'll quote you there. It's going yeah, to be a stroll in the it's park. Real. We also remember. It will be a landslide. Yeah. PDP uh, also said we will run this country for 50 years. 60 years. years. Oh, oh, sorry, 60 that. years. All right. We are not let, saying let, that. Let's let's leave it here for now. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much. Always very interesting to have you. All right.